Hello friends, my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, this video is continuation of uh, lambda expression based practices. So now in this video tutorial we are going to explore fourth point and that is that is don't treat lambda expressions as inner classes. So most of the people understand lambda expressions is the substitution of basically uh, inner class, anonymous inner class and both are same but it's not true. We essentially substituted inner classes by lambda expression. The two concepts are different in terms of scope, right? So anonymous inner class you can substitute with the lambda expression. It's not mean that both are same, right? In terms of in terms of scope, both are different. When you use inner class, it creates a new scope. You can override local variables from the enclosing scope by instantiating new local variables with the same name. You can also use the keyword this inside your inner class as a reference to its instance. So if you use this reference inside the anonymous inner class then this is referring the instance of anonymous class itself. However lambda expressions works with enclosing a scope. But lambda expression always works with the enclosing a scope. We can't override variables from the enclosing uh, scope inside the lambda's body. In this case, the uh, keyword this is the ref reference to the enclosing instance. So when you use this keyword inside the lambda expression, then this is uh, referring to the instance of the class where uh, you have where you have written. Uh, lambda expression suppose you have written lambda expression within the test class then this this represents the instance of test class so let's try to understand these things through an example so here is the eclipse and i have created a project uh, over here lambda expression based practices demo 3 and here i am going to explore this concept All right so let's create a one instance variable is called a uh, private string value and I will assign a string value to uh, this variable instance variable I would say in closing scope value closing scope value now I am going to create a one interface let's create an interface in the same source file I would say foo and foo is a functional interface i'm going to annotate this guy as a functional interface and here i'm going to add uh, one method is called a string and method name is method itself now uh, what i will do here just i'm going to create a anonymous class for this functional interface so anonymous inner let's create an anonymous class for this i would say one for one equal to new and eclipse give you option like anonymous inner type so select this option and here what i will try to do uh, inside the inner class i am going to reinitialize this value and i would say inner class value inner class value and here I want to return this dot value right now as we know that we can substitute this anonymous class with lambda expression because this is a functional interface foo is a functional interface so let's define a lambda for foo interface which is a functional interface so let's say foo to equal to now let now let's have define reinitialize this variable so private is not valid over here so private remove this private I would say here I'm going to lambda value I'm going to assign lambda 
value now here we have to return value as well right so let's return return again this dot value sorry no actually these things i was supposed to write in the separate method so this keyword you cannot access uh, within a static context right so so i am going to refactor this code and i'll put into the separate method is called so let's write refactor i extract method and i would say x scope experiment Okay. and this would not be a static this let's keep as an instance variable and we can access we can call this method by creating an instance of test right now this would be accessible over here now what I'll try to print this two value so foo one dot method right and again I'm try to print value for using for two and now let's see what the output we get right so here look at the first SOP first output we got for this anonymous class right and this is saying that inner class value means uh, when I we try to access the value then whatever value we have initialized over here that value we are getting but for uh, lambda expression body right when we say this dot value then this is printing in closing a scope value so uh, uh, I mean uh, uh, this is I mean one of the value we have initialized uh, I mean this value I mean reinitialized with the some lambda value but this is uh, this is getting ignored uh, right and this dot value this is just accessing the I mean value which is within the within the uh, class test so this is basically reference referencing the I mean instance variable of test class but in the case of uh, uh, anonymous inner class that is referring to the its local variable right so what is the conclusion as you can see by calling this this dot value right this that value in inner class you can access the local variable from its instance right but in the case of the lambda this dot value this dot value gives you access to the variable value which is defined in the test class right test class but but not uh, to the variable value defined inside the lambda body right so in terms of a scope right uh, anonymous inner class and lambda is different so that's that's the point i wanted to convey here uh, over in this point i hope you understood this point uh, using an example so here this line does not have any meaning so just i'm going to comment it and this code i'm going to check in on the github so that you can download and run on your local computer so i hope you enjoyed learning uh, about uh, I mean this point don't treat lambda expressions uh, as inner classes and you understand the significance of this in terms of anonymous inner class and lambda expressions. So thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial.